Hey guys. I finished throwing 18 pieces in like about two hours and that is mind blowing to me because normally I think that would take me a lot longer and I'm so happy that I've gotten more efficient with throwing because it just means less time that I'm like hunched over and that's good. Also my little adjustments that I've made like this chair and my cushion and rising up my wheel a little have been very helpful. My body does not hurt <laughs> and that is very nice. I was throwing stuff for my pop-up shop. It is January 5th and I'm trying to get stuff done before January 16th because my birthday is coming up and I just wanted to dedicate a couple of days at least to having that off to enjoy myself. I'm trying to do all of this beforehand and I feel good about where I'm at right now. Tomorrow is going to be trimming day. I also just got in my stamp that I had made. I, I got it off of Etsy and so far I'm pleased. I haven't actually used it yet but I'm so excited with the size of it because I think it will be a perfect like uh, whatever size for the bottoms of my cups which is awesome and I think I might get a smaller one too for the tinier things that I make like my ornaments and magnets and stuff like that. So that's very exciting and it came in at just the right time. I am also making some pieces for my friend's shop. They have a surf shop. I'm just getting, or I'm just making like 10 things for there. We're trying it out. I've had wholesale there and it's done well. And so now I'm trying consignment and seeing how that works out. I don't normally do that, but they're my friends and I think most of the people that they have in there, that's how they do it. So I was like, let's give it a whirl. It might be better to that way to see what works and what doesn't. And I love them, so very easy, yes. So I'm just making a handful for them and everything else will be for my actual shop. And I'm very excited and I feel like I'm shocked that I got all this done in the days that I wanted to get it done in. And hopefully by the end of this weekend, I'll be packing pieces up to go to dry at the kiln and load it up. It's the first Friday of the year and it's shocking <laughs> that I feel, yeah, ahead of the game. I don't know how that's possible, but I'm gonna go take a break now. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy another few days in my life. We'll see what we get into. It will probably be more of the same, but hopefully that brings you comfort. And I will see you tomorrow for a massive trimming session.
good morning it is Sunday January 7th I thought that I would get a lot more done yesterday but I did not because I realized that I forgot to throw like six maybe seven pieces and that meant that I woke up and immediately throw those that I forgot and then went and hung out with a friend started trimming but not everything was ready yet so I still have probably like eight more pieces left to trim which is fine I just also have like 12 handles I need to attach and then six lids for my to-go tumblers I think that's how many I made so lots of little things to get done thankfully I don't need to throw so the cleaning process of throwing is such a time-consuming thing so it's kind of like that saves me a lot of time not having to worry about majorly cleaning up and hopefully everything that I threw yesterday is dry enough to trim I left it out uncovered and in my little hallway area it might have been too humid in there so they're probably not ready but fingers crossed they are I'm gonna go check on that now and then I'll probably trim first and then just start knocking out handles I already have them made and laid out and they've been drying in their proper shape since last night I covered them up to keep them the perfect consistency it was raining all morning and now it's just a nice day and I am happy to be home doing little things I feel like I'm in a good spot my birthday is next week and I am proud of myself for hopefully finishing this stuff before then so that I can just enjoy a day I got a new camera it's not the one I'm filming on because I'm still not used to it yet it's a Fuji I shoot on Canon I've had the same Canon 6D the like original one I feel like they have different versions of it now since 2015 and all I've done is get new lenses which my lenses are so good I might try and get an adapter for this camera to use one of them at least this lens that I'm shooting on is the 3514 if you know photo things if not no worries but that's why everything kind of has like a cinematic feel the background in a lot of my shots is like very blurry and I love the amount of stuff that I'm able to get in the frame and I really just wanted something that was more compact and the mirrorless version of, of Canon is so utterly expensive and this I think I got a camera and two lenses for the price of maybe a lens or a body maybe <laughs> in Canon like their equivalent of this so I think I made the right choice as far as finance goes but I don't think I like by getting this skimped on quality it's just a whole different feel I mean if you know Fujifilm I feel like they're are very well known for their film and just how aesthetically pleasing their cameras are as far as like having everything so easily accessible but their goal to make it as close to film as possible I think is really awesome and it's just so small and easy and I can quickly put this in my bag and take it around with me even the other lens that I got <laughs> is so small too so yeah I feel really good about my purchase but all of that to say for my birthday I just want to go out and shoot things I have loved photography forever it's my thing it's what I started my art career with and it will forever be a special thing for me and I've loved being able to capture my process in a way that brings people in as if they're here with me through video but also through the photos that I take and share and that's kind of what I was doing for other people and still am doing just not as much since I've kind of become a botter um so yeah I just feel like this has lit that fire in me again I really want to like figure it out and edit photos and take photos and just like capture life as it is and that makes me really happy so hopefully next week I will take this sweet baby <laughs> out even though I'm like scared <laughs> I haven't bought myself something like brand new in a very long time especially brand new and like 
over $50 so yeah this is huge and a testament to how much I was able to accomplish last year because I know having this will only help me be able to capture more and better quality things and just a different uh, flavor of things if you will for both my pottery business but also for the clients that I hope to get this year and yeah I'm really pumped about that so that's my spiel and I'm going to go get to <sighs> making pots thank you for sticking around
Hello, happy Monday. It is January 8th and it is a cold and quiet Monday morning. I am just writing out what I want to accomplish this week. I did have some plans today to go to the kiln and kind of zhuzh up everything, organize everything, throw away stuff, and paint my shelves with some kiln wash and just like get the kiln ready for another round of making but that's not gonna happen today I'm having everything outside right now drying a little bit more and I will just do all of that tomorrow today I'm kind of just taking as a back end today I have some clay I need to reclaim some stuff I need to edit and I have a photo shoot this week so I have some things to do for that and honestly I just needed a day where I wasn't <laughs> physically like working on something. The past couple of days have been so fun finally like bringing all of these things that I <laughs> drew out in this notepad probably the last week of December to life. And now I'm tired <laughs> and I just needed a like in between day because this week's gonna be very busy both socially and with work stuff so gotta prep and I figured I would keep things cozy for as long as I can and set myself up for a nice little week but I can't thank you enough for being here I hope you enjoyed this one kind of a little frantic frazzle dazzle of a time but hope it was peaceful i think i just want this year to not feel rushed and to make whatever i want to make and stick with that and so far so good i did <laughs> not wanting things to be rushed not really doing too hot on that so far but I feel okay with that because I'm rushing because I want to take my birthday off and that feels like a good thing to do because I know myself and if I had stuff like lingering on the table next week, I would want to tidy it up and do it. But that won't be the case. I will have these pieces finished by then or at least the ones that need to be and the ones that don't can wait. And that's great. So anyways, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be a fun birthday, like, travel day vlog. I think we're going to go up to the coast, see my friends, and hang out in one of my favorite cities. And just take pictures and <laughs> frolic and enjoy the good weather and the Christmas lights that they still have up, which are so dreamy and sweet. Anywho, for the fifth time, thank you so much for being here and for watching. I hope you are well and I hope you're able to get something done while watching this. Let me know what you're working on. Love hearing all the things and I will see you next time. Bye.